Hello, my name's Stephen Carr, and I'd like to welcome you back to another SketchUp cooking class. We're just going to continue working with our JPEG to SketchUp. Um, we completed the project, putting in windows, doors. Uh, we, we might look at this, and then we might see that maybe we want this door frame to be a little bit different. So if I click on it, because it's a component, I can right-click and edit component. And then with my push-pull, I can just pull this door frame just a little bit further out so that it looks like a natural door frame. So that's good. I just select somewhere else now to get out of there. Looking at my windows, it's the same thing. I've got a couple of choices here. Um, I could either click on this surface here, and I could just push-pull this so that it reaches to that either here same thing up on top. Select it. Push, pull. That edge. Go down to the bottom. Select it. Push, pull. And... Over to this side and do the same thing. So I don't, ha you know, things just don't always work out perfect, but we can always, there's always some little solution that will work, which is not too, too cumbersome. So I've had this set up now, so probably what I need to do is, again, select on the window, right-click, and edit component. Again, with push-pull, I'll just push this guy out to here, so it's flush here. And then maybe what I'll do is I will do a offset and then I can just pull this out a little bit and pull this out to match. And I should be able to erase these lines so that we have our nice looking little window frame on the inside as well. Of course, it doesn't have to have a window frame on the inside. It could be flush. Um, it's up to you on what you want to do with that. Okay, so zoom extent. So you can work on your windows to fix those up. Um, now what I'd like to consider doing here is looking at the floor. Um, once we have our model basically set up, completed, we could um, go into my layers. I'm just going to turn my image layer off. So I know that with this guy here, I'm just going to select it. Right click and make group. And I'm going to put that on my wall layer. So that's good. So I can turn off my wall now. So at this point now, I can just go underneath here. I'm going to create a floor. I seem to have an extra line in here, and this is probably part of this. Oh, no, that's, I think it's part of that door there. Just delete that because I don't want that line there. Okay, so now I'm going to do my floor. So I'm just going to go underneath the bottom. And, um, well, I can see i got a little bit of problem with that door here, so maybe I'll just... Uh, Go back into here and going to move this door to that corner there. And now I'm going to have to uh, go into X ray, do my push pull, get my that. That's good. And very tight in here, but I might be able to get that. There we go. Turn off the x ray. And I think I'm ready to come back here. Sorry. So you're always cleaning it up a little bit. As you see problems, you fix them. 
So I'm going to create my floor now. So I'm just going to do a rectangle on here. And I'm going to just make it as a couple of pieces rather than try to, you know, it's uh, easy enough to do here. So I'm going to erase this line, this line, and this line. But I'm going to draw a line from this midpoint across here. Uh, the reason being is that I'm going to use one finish on this side and one finish on the other side. Oh, I see I got a little bit of a problem here. I'll just do a little rectangle for my door. Again, same thing. You're going to have to have a finish here. So just do a rectangle from the midpoint here to here. And then I can erase this one. So... This becomes one area. This is an other area. So I'll just one, two, hold down shift, one, two, right click, make group. And I'm all going to do a move copy on that group. Move copy from that endpoint to there. So now I've got this on the bottom. So if I click on this, I can put this onto my floor layer. Entity Impo. That's good. So I should be able to turn my floor off. That's good. And if I come up here, I'm going to... Uh, okay, this one I need to do a little bit of work on because it's... I don't really need this line here. And I don't really... What I do need, though, is I need I need that to be broken up. Because this is one part of the ceiling, that's the other part of the ceiling. Okay, so click on this and change this from layer 0 to roof. Sorry, to ceiling. That's my ceiling, not my roof. And again, I have the ability to turn my floor off or turn my ceiling off. It's not really important here. So now what I want to do is just construct my roof. So I'll just do a rectangle over here. And I'm going to turn off my ceiling and turn off my um, walls for now. I'll just do an offset. Twenty four. And just go for now. I'm just going to uh, I need I like to have this here because I don't want to have this surface. So I'm just going to select this and delete it. And then I'm just going to pull this up six inches, and I'm going to heal it and erase these lines here. If I go into x-ray, I want to erase these guys because they're going to affect, remember, SketchUp likes to, uh, anytime it touches a line, it breaks the lines up. So now I can draw a line across here. If I didn't delete those lines, it would it would be breaking a line here and here. And so then when I try to pull up, move this here in the blue axis, just move this in the blue. Where's blue? Blue, six feet. It would break the line there and it wouldn't come up quite the way I want it to. So I don't need this here because I have a ceiling and if we have two surfaces then that creates problems sometimes. So I'll just click on this, make it a group, put that on the ceiling or the roof layer. And I'm pretty much quite happy with this now. I'll go to my layers, turn everything on. There's my little basic house. So I'm quite happy with this. So. Uh, We'll let you catch up to me and we'll carry on afterwards. Thank you.